Merchandise promotion inside of an RP that isn't the RP the merchandise is for? It's free real estate. But look at me, I've achieved my true form. <laughs> Just kidding, my true form is Afa because she's better in every single way. Ha! Bias! But seriously, they're both equally awesome, so be sure to check them out in the description down below. Both the Afmel and Aaron ears and the Afmel and Aaron jacket. So you and your BFF or your lover can wear them together and it'll be so cute. But wait, Afmel, I don't have a BFF or a lover. <gasps> well then screw it, just get them both for yourself because you're a single Pringle who don't want to mingle and you can just spend money on yourself. You don't got to care about anybody else. Ah! Look at this merch. Check it out in the description down below. I'm going to go and destroy the world. Bye. Both of you, where is us? He has gone on a journey of self re re re, re uh. What is this journey of self re? Self reflection. Ash has embarked on a journey to reflect upon his life and. At a time like this! I understand your anger. But I ask of you to hear me out. <sighs> I'm listening. Never before in the history of Deimos have we as a society ever faced the extinction of magic. But now, here we are. We as royalty and the High Council must now face dealing with information before it falls into the knowledge of our subjects. Wait, our people do not know? This is why attending meetings is important, Rob. I mean, I... um, you're right, I remember, since I attended all of my... Silence! I yes As I was saying, in the midst of war with the other kingdoms, we are faced with making a terrible choice. A choice which Ash will fall victim to. As his grandmother, I have allowed him time to go on a journey until he is needed to- <clears throat> As the former queen of Deimos, I would not expect you to become so soft, mother. Yet, here we are. As it would seem. How long has Ash been gone? Three months. The day Ash is to fulfill his duty is drawing closer. And now I find out he's missing? I can assure you, I will personally deliver him myself when he is needed. <sighs> if you were not my mother, I'd have killed you by now. It's important to look big on the throne. I understand. Right now we are at war with the other kingdoms of Deimos. They are seeking to take the throne of which I sit. And if they take it and find out about the magic crisis... Exactly! Uh, what? In three months, we will be reaching the final deposit of magic, to which I want Ash to perform his duty. But, but what about the last soul? Too valuable. Ash will come first. To which will happen in three months time. At that point, Ash will stand before me. And if not Ash, Rawl, you will take his duty. Uh, me? You know, what you're proposing is not going to solve the overall problem. We were ignorant in the fact that we did not conserve the human- Silence! Have Ash stand before me in three months. That is all. Father, if you do not want Ash's duty, then you best bring him before me in three months. Otherwise, you will have his honor. Yes.
Well? Her Uber's almost here. She's about five minutes away. Good. Oh, right. Uh, that reminds me. You aren't going to get nosy with her, are you? What? Me? <laughs> no. Devin? Hmm? You're trying to avoid answering. Wow, Andrew. A man can't drink his coffee without being attacked. I asked you a simple question. You don't have to be over dramatic about it. I swear, your politician side is showing a little too much. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize after all these years of marriage, you can't give me a straight answer. I don't think either of us could give a straight answer. Oh, ha ha. Very funny. It's a joke, Andrew. I'm serious. Answer the question. Are you going to be nosy about Ava's new friends? No, I'm not. Uh, that means you are. <gasps> After all these years together, I think you would know me better. Dad! Pop! Ava, my baby, did you bring any of your friends with you? Told you. Shut up! Never mind your father, Pumpkin. Come sit down and we can catch up. We took the liberty of ordering your favorite for you. Oh, thanks. Sorry I'm late. You would have been even later if you walked, you know. Yeah, probably. Thanks for getting me the ride. Anytime, Pumpkin. So, how have you guys been? We've been doing good. Just uh, been a little worried about you. Mrs. Oates told us you were sick. Why didn't you call us? I just needed to rest is all. <laughs> she told us she was helping to take care of you. Did you have any other help as well? Devin. Um, I mean, some of my friends came by. Oh, well, I'm glad you had some help with... Was it Noi? Huh? I swear to God, if you... But it was Noi. I bet Ava was sick and Mrs. Oates came over to take care of her when suddenly Noi was waiting outside with flowers. He ran into Mrs. Oates who told him Ava was sick and like a good want-to-be lover, he dashed into the room and take care of you with the power of love. But then all of those other heathens were waiting to swoop in and they all came to you, our darling princess with gifts of affection. Suddenly your heart was torn, not knowing who to pick as the person you truly love. Oh my god, please kill me now. Please take me to... Look, as someone who wants to write his own work of romantic fiction someday, I hope to learn more about being the object of many people's affections from all perspectives. How do you know they even like her that way? Um, she's my daughter, so obviously she's a catch. She's my daughter too. Oh, right. <gasps> she's doomed. Hey! <laughs> Do you need some ice for that burn, sir? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we really never talked about that, huh? About what? Relationships and love? Uh, sir, may I get a napkin? <laughs> I don't want to talk about that kind of stuff. Ava, come on, you're a grown woman, and I've tried to have the birds and the bees talk with you so many times. La 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 la, I can't hear you! Pumpkin, I think it's a valid talk we should have. As your parents, we want to make sure you're well-educated to make good decisions for yourself, too. <laughs> I can't hear you! <laughs> Ava, I know you're listening, I'm not dumb. You're as nosy as your father here. Hey! Ugh, even if I am listening, is it appropriate to bring up hoodie talk here? Ava, you're not a child anymore. Someday your prince or princess will come into your life and you'll enter a, a relationship. <laughs> Please, I don't even know what you're talking about. Ava, we've seen your browser history before. You can't hide what you know from us. What? Well, when you were under our roof and using our computer, you were pretty dumb about not deleting your browser history. We know you watched anime. And Netflix, too. The romance genre was just all over your history. Why is my love life so important all of a sudden? 
I just made friends. Yes, but you lied to us and pretended you had a boyfriend. And Noe is obviously interested. Ava, as your parents, we just want you to make wise decisions. And, uh, I, I guess we just don't want you to be lonely when you get older. We're all for how you want to live your life, Ava. But knowing that someone else is there you can rely on and trust just reassures us that you're happy. It doesn't have to be a lover, it can be a friend or anyone. He's lying. He wants you to get married. Darn it, I'm serious. As wonderful as it would be to see you walk down the aisle, I just, I just want you to be happy. Thanks. Also, I'm sure one of those guys are your type based on the movies you like. Pop! Now, now, Devin. Don't go prodding. I can't help it. Besides, it wouldn't hurt to at least think about what it would be like to be with someone. How do I know if I want to be in a relationship with someone? Hmm? Uh, well... Simple. Just try to imagine what it would be like if they watched your favorite movie scene with you for the hundredth time. Then if you think they could do that, then it might be worth a shot. That's not a good way to go about that at all. I mean, for me it is. Besides, smoochies are best during movies. Oh, come on now. We don't want her to turn out like Mrs. Oates. Do you think she knows about Mrs. Oates' past? I can hear you guys, you know. Yeah. Hey, let's eat, shall we? Yes, let's. You know, I wonder what it would be like to be with one of them. Me, in a relationship? Yeah, right! <laughs> Hmm? Y you're cooking? Oh, Princess Ava. Yes, I am cooking. I had a conversation with Mrs. Oates about the nature of food here on the Earth. Oh, you want to learn how to win Ava over? Yes. I'm not familiar with human courtship. Oh, calm down, sweetie. You're just looking for relationship advice. Um, yes that well it's mighty bold of you to go behind the other's backs <laughs> well since you helped me cook before i might as well tell you that the quickest way to a lady's heart is through her stomach what by by stabbing her oh heavens no i mean food every lady loves a man who can cook just don't let her know that you want to do this to impress her. She'll be even more impressed you're doing it without motivation and want you more. <laughs> Here, let me get you my cookbook and some ingredients. And I just wanted to study cooking more. <laughs> wow. Rise, that's awesome. Thank you. Yes. It's working. Ava seems thoroughly impressed. Once I impress her enough, perhaps I will become king of the earth. A relationship with Rise. I mean, Rise is super cool and hot. And now he's cooking, that makes him almost irresistible. But how would that be? Oh god, this is my favorite part! Fascinating. You've seen this part over 50 times, yet you are not bored of it. Uh, no. That's why it's my favorite part. Can you have a new favorite part? No. Fascinating. Hmm. I feel like he would ask too many questions during movies. Prisoner! Hmm? You, you, you look cute today. Huh? B uh, but, but don't think anything of it! W what was that about? Wait. What about a relationship with Ash? Oh my god, this is my favorite part! I hate this part! B but it's my favorite. If you love it so much, I will destroy it! Yeah, something like that. Huh? I'm 
blushing. I need to splash my face with water or something. Well, hello there, princess. What are you doing here? Didn't you knock? I just wanted to give you this. W where did you get this from? Here, give her this. It is sure to win her over. I found them. B thanks Don't forget this. It was me who gave you that. Love it. What's going on? Why are they acting so weird? Wait, what if I was with Leaf? Oh god, this is my favorite part! I'll kill it! Ah! How would he even get out of that habit? Huh? Um, the... These are for you, Ava. <laughs> Aw, Noi. Thank you so much. You... you... like them? Yeah, I do. How did you know I like these kind of flowers? <laughs> I just did. <laughs> See you around. Wait, seriously, what's going on? They're all acting strange. But wait. What about Noi? Oh god, this is my favorite part! I will get you more favorite parts, Ava! He's so eager to please. I mean, maybe? Stop trying to steal her from me! I thought that we agreed that it didn't matter who she married as long as we get the magic, right? You two need to stop. Thank you! It's obvious she is most impressed with me. Cheated! Did not! I no, want to no, kill no, her, so clearly I, I should be the one who marries her. her. I deserve to, to marry the Ava. Hey! What do you think you have a right to do? I deserve to any idea what they're arguing about? No. Huh? You seem to enjoy when I do this. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. What about Pierce? Oh my god, this is my favorite part! Yes. I mean, Pierce doesn't speak that much, but... Hey, what are you doing? Comforting Princess Ava. Hey, that's my job! Did you ask her for permission? All right, that's it. Why are you guys acting so weird? <laughs> Um, forgive us. We, we were... Oh, Ava! I see you got your hands full. What are you doing here, Mrs. Oates? You left the door open, so I was worried. Is everything all right? <laughs> everything is fine. <laughs> oh, good. You know these boys all have a crush on you. <laughs> they all came to me for advice on how to woo you. <laughs> You weren't supposed to tell her! Oh, I'm just speeding up the process! <laughs> Toodles! Marry me, prisoner! Marry? No way! Me! I'll fight you guys for her! I... I can't... This is a dream, right? I'm taking the throne of the Earth! And I'm dead! <laughs> 